people parachuting above us into this place. What? Okay, so we've arrived in Dubai. Now, before I show you around our room, um, that was the easiest kind of transition into a country ever. The, the flight was really quiet. This is the first plane we've been on since traveling during a pandemic that actually isn't very busy. It's brilliant. And we've got screens. So busy. Must have been about 50, 60 people on it for a big plane. Um, and we got to the airport, really easy to get through, no questions, everyone's fine, picked up the luggage, got in a taxi and we're here. So it's all exciting. Now, I just want to show you one thing, now you have to go around that way. This is my favourite thing so far. <laughs> How good is that? Great. So we've got a nice king size bed and I've got a little office space here. I can do some editing and think I'm, I've actually got a job. <laughs> and there's a nice little couchy bit there. Um, at the moment, 38 degrees, so it's hotter than what we've had in the Maldives, which is ridiculous. But I think I'm just going to hunker down for a couple of days and enjoy the room. And the man's going to watch me having a bath. <laughs> and also, we've got a big TV. Yeah, looking forward to chilling and exploring a bit of the city. We're venturing out in Dubai for the first time. We had a very good night's sleep last night, which is great. We're feeling refreshed. And we're now on the hunt for a SIM card for our phones, purely because although there is Wi-Fi in the hotel, Dubai is a big place and when we're out and about, um, if we haven't got access to Wi-Fi, there's a good chance we'll get lost. So we're hoping that we can pick up a fairly cheap SIM card for our phones. Unfortunately, I just realized that you can actually get a free one at the airport when you arrive. It doesn't have a lot on it, but you can it'll get you started and you can then top it up. But we didn't realize that. So we're going to go to a mall and do that. And then we're going to try and get some money out of the cash machine. In Dubai, they have a very strict mask law at the moment. So when you're out and about, you must keep your mask on. So all our filming here will include this. We got everything we needed at the Bergeman Mall. Uh, we got a SIM card, we got 50 minutes, three, we got three gig of data. So that'll do us when we're out and about. Uh, that was about, uh, about 17 pounds. You get everything you need in these malls. We're certainly not in Bulgaria or the Maldives anymore. Prices here are a lot more expensive for things. But we were prepared for that. I mean, knew it would be the case. But yeah, it's not going to be a cheap break, I don't think. We are up at the pool in our hotel. Um, we thought we'd come up and chill out, and uh, you know, listen to some podcasts and just lie about and have a wee swim. But what we've ended up doing is, because we're in Dubai, and because you know the country's fairly open, if you stick to the regulations and wear a mask, there's so many things to do. We've got to put a limit on it because we've got to watch our money but <laughs> there's millions of things to do in this city and they're all pretty cool they do cost quite a bit so i think we're going to have to sort of select a specific few we can do and uh, 
just do them. We are at Global Village. Tonight is the last night. It's been running for a few months, I think. Um, I don't really know what to expect. All I knew was that it was a big park that had that represented lots of different countries, and you could go to each country, and there'd be like markets and things like that. But I don't think I was prepared for actually the scale of this place. It is huge. It's ten to eight at night. We could be here a while. This place is absolutely massive. You don't know where to start. We're just walking around the countries, having a look then we'll have to decide on somewhere to eat. It's like going through Netflix and picking a film. <laughs> yeah. You don't know where to start. entrance fee to get in here was approximately four pounds each and obviously then you spend money for anything you want to do any rides you want to go on or anything you want to buy or any food you want to buy but yeah four pounds to get in so pretty good And it's busy, which is a little bit scary. I thought there'd be some more kind of food stalls within here. There's a few, but not really anything we're wanting. It's a shame our suitcases are full because I could have a field day here. So we're in Azerbaijan and they're selling fur coats. Just what you need in 38 degree heat. There are people parachuting above us into this place. What? even a Thai floating village serving lots of different food so we're gonna give this place a little try out and can I just say it seems to be getting hotter as the night goes on and busier Woo! what do you have there Shrimp balls. Are they good? Really good. There's lots of rides here. I think there's probably one or two that we might do. If they haven't got the dodgems, I'm not interested. <laughs> they have got the dodgems. This ride so looks so scary. We're going to do it. Maybe. Oh, look at that. We've got a wonder pass. 120 points each. Let's see what happens. 
So it's quite expensive for the rides here. Uh, you need to buy like a points card and the minimum you can spend is 20 pounds, which you get like about 100 points. So most rides are like 30, 40, 50 points. So that's really only like, God, two rides and you've done your money. We just went on, uh, what was it called? The haunted, a haunted house ride. It's terrible. Uh, it wasn't scary at all. So we're gonna go and do some scary. Just as I was about to go in the dodgems last night, our camera died. Um, I usually take um, all the battery packs and everything with me for extra charge, but for some reason, I didn't. Um, now, we just thought we'd finish the um, Global Village off and what we thought of it and um, to be honest with you it was a bit full on I think because we've you know not been around that many people for so long uh, it was packed so after a while I think it got a bit much even though when you went on the rides there was social distancing but queuing up for the rides as well but actually when you went to get food everyone was kind of packed in so after a while it just felt really claustrophobic and really unsafe but as an experience overall I think I would have enjoyed it more if it wasn't Covid going on just because there was so many people um, but and actually it was miles away from here from where we are so we got a taxi bag which cost us about just about 100 dirham which is about 20 quid which is pretty decent. What was nice about yesterday is I met my cousin David who lives here and he was filming us in on things to do, where to go, things to see. So he took us down, way down to the Palm yesterday but it, I didn't realise how massive this place was and how kind of sprawling it is. So it was kind of good to get a sense of the place even though I still feel a bit kind of like disoriented, but we're gonna have a nice chill day today. Uh, Romana's in the background. Doing I'm some... researching, I'm not just on the phone. <laughs> and I have to say, the great thing about traveling around um, and going places is that I get to go with Romana because she is essentially a travel rep. She's never worked on a travel agent or anything like that, but she's a planner and an organiser and she's pretty practical so constantly planning <laughs> constantly what planning trying to find deals so we've got a kind of itinerary for over the next week anyway we're here for another just under two weeks which is great um, so we're making a rough plan yeah we're going to try and get some deals there's lots of apps for things here there's lots of there's an app called Clook and Groupon is it's quite popular. So there's lots of deals and we love a deal. Romana loves a deal. So have a wee day off today, chill and plan our next move. Mm -hmm. 